hello hello welcome welcome to day 314 of our bible in a year challenge my name is sandra i'm going to be your host for today welcome we are committed to reading our bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time yes you heard me right just less than 20 minutes daily read time please kindly go ahead right now subscribe to my youtube channel Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Day 314, November 10th, 2022. 365 days Bible reading, Old Testament, Ezekiel 19, Ezekiel 20, 1 to 44. New Testament, Hebrews 10, verse 1 to 18. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 122, verse 1. To nine Old Testament NIV version Ezekiel 19 verse 1 to 14 a lament over Israel's princes take up a lament concerning the princes of Israel and say what a lioness was your mother among the lions she lay down among them and read her cubs she brought up one of her cubs and he became a strong lion he learned to tear the prey, and he became a man-eater. The nations heard about him, and he was trapped in their pit. They led him with hooks to the land of Egypt. When she saw her hope unfulfilled, her expectation gone, she took another of her cubs and made him a strong lion. He prowled among the lions, for he was new. He was now a strong lion. He learned to tear the prey, and he became a man-eater. He broke down their strongholds and devastated their towns. The land and all who were in it were terrified by his roaring. Then the nations came against him, those from regions round about. They spread their nets for him, and he was trapped in their pit. With hooks, they pulled him into a cage and brought him to the king of Babylon. They put him in prison, so his roar was heard no longer on the mountains of Israel. Your mother was like a vine in your vineyard planted by the water. It was fruitful and bran and full of branches because of abundant water. Its branches were strong, fit for a ruler's scepter. It towered high above the thick foliage, conspicuous for its height and for its many branches. But it was uprooted in fury and thrown to the ground. The east wind made it shrivel. It was stripped of its fruits. Its strong branches withered and fire consumed them. Now it is planted in the desert in a dry and thirsty land. Fire spread from one of its main branches and consumed its fruit. No strong branch is left on it fit for a ruler's scepter. This is a lament and is to be used as a lament. Ezekiel 20 verse 1 to 44. Rebellious Israel purged in the seventh year in the fifth month on the tenth day. Some of the elders of Israel came to inquire of the Lord and they sat down in front of me. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, speak to the elders of Israel and say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. Have you come to inquire of me? As surely as I live, I will not let you inquire of me, declares the sovereign Lord. Will you judge them? Will you judge them, son of man? Then confront them with the detestable practices of their ancestors and say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. On the day I chose Israel, I swore with uplifted hand to the descendants of Jacob and revealed myself to them in Egypt with uplifted hand I said to them I am the Lord your God on that day I swore to them that I will bring them out of Egypt into a land I had searched out for them a land flowing with milk and honey the most beautiful of all lands and I said to them each of you Get rid of the vile images you have set your eyes on and do not defile yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. But 
They rebelled against me and would not listen to me. They did not get rid of the vile images they had set their eyes on, nor did they forsake the idols of Egypt. So I said, I will pour out my wrath on them and spend my anger against them in Egypt. But for the sake of my name, I brought them out of Egypt. I did it to keep my name from being profaned in the eyes of the nations among whom they lived and in whose sight I had revealed myself to the Israelites. Therefore, I led them out of Egypt and brought them into the wilderness. I gave them my decrees and made known to them my laws by which the person who obeys them will live. Also, I gave them my Sabbaths as a sign between us so they would know that I, the Lord, made them holy. Yet the people of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They did not follow my decrees but rejected my laws by which the person who obeys them will live. And they utterly desecrated my Sabbaths. So I said I will pour out my wrath on them and destroy them in the wilderness but for the sake of my name i did what would keep in keep it from being profaned in the eyes of the nations in whose sight i had brought them out also with uplifted hand i saw to them in the wilderness that i would not bring them into the land i had given them a land flowing with milk and honey the most beautiful of all lands because they rejected my laws and did not follow my decrees and desecrated my sabbaths for their hearts were devoted to their idols yet i looked on them with pity and did not destroy them or put an end to them in the wilderness i said to their children in the wilderness. Do not follow the statutes of your parents or keep their laws or defile yourselves with their idols. I am the Lord your God. Follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Keep my Sabbaths holy that they may be a sign between us. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. But the children rebelled against me. They did not follow my decrees. They were not careful to keep my laws of which I said, the person who obeys them will live by them. And they desecrated my Sabbath. So I said, I will pour out my wrath on them and spend my anger against them in the wilderness. But I withheld my hand, and for the sake of my name, I did what would keep it from being profaned in the eyes of the nations in whose sight I had brought them out. Also, with uplifted hand, I swore to them in the wilderness that I would disperse them among the nations and scatter them through the countries, because they had not obeyed my laws, but had rejected my decrees and desecrated my sabbaths and their eyes lusted after their parents idols so i gave them other statutes that were not good and laws through which they could not live i defiled them through their gifts the sacrifice of every firstborn that i might fulfill I might fill them with horror so they would know that I am the Lord. Therefore, son of man, speak to the people of Israel and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says in this also, your ancestors blasphemed me by being unfaithful to me. When I brought them into the land, I had sworn to give to them and they saw any high hill or any leafy tree there they offered their sacrifices made offerings that arose my anger presented their fragrant incense and poured out their drink offerings then i said to them what is this high place you go to it is called bama to this day rebellious israel renewed therefore say to the israelites this is what the sovereign lord says will you defile yourselves the way your ancestors did and lost after their vile images when you offer your gifts the sacrifice of your children in the fire you continue to defile yourselves with all your idols to this day Am I to let you inquire of me, you Israelites? As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, I will not let you inquire of me. You say, we want to be like the nations, like the peoples of the world who serve wood and stone. But what you have in mind will never happen. As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, I will reign over you with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with outpoured wrath. I will bring you from the nations and gather you from the countries where you have been scattered with a mighty hand 
and an outstretched arm and with outpoured wrath. I will bring you into the wilderness of the nations and there face to face I will execute judgment upon you. As I judged your ancestors in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so I will judge you, declares the sovereign Lord. I will take note of you as you pass under my rod and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. I will purge you of those who revolt and rebel against me. Although I will bring them out of the land where they are living, yet they will not enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Lord. As for you, people of Israel, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Go and serve your idols, every one of you. But afterward, you will surely listen to me and no longer profane my holy name with your gifts and idols. For on my holy mountain... The high mountain of Israel declares the sovereign Lord there in the land all the people of Israel will serve me and there I will accept them. There I will require your offerings and your choice gifts along with all your holy sacrifices. I will accept you as fragrant incense when I bring you out from the nations and gather you from the countries where you have been scattered and I will be proved holy through you. In the sight of the nations, then you will know that I am the Lord. When I bring you into the land of Israel, the land I had sworn with uplifted hand to give to your ancestors, there you will remember your conduct and all the actions by which you have defiled yourselves, and you will loathe yourselves for all the evil you have done. You will know that I am the Lord when I deal with you for my name's sake and not according to your evil ways and your corrupt practices you people of israel declares the sovereign lord new testament niv version hebrews 10 verse 1 to 18 christ sacrificed once for all the law is only a shadow of the good things that are coming not the realities themselves for this reason it can never by the same Sacrifices repeated endlessly year after year make perfect those who draw near to worship. Otherwise, would they not have stopped being offered? For the worshippers would have been cleansed once for all and would no longer have felt guilty for their sins. But those sacrifices are an annual reminder of sins. It is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire but the body you prepared for me with burnt offerings and sin offerings you were not pleased then i said here i am it is written about me in the scroll i have come to do your will my god first he said sacrifices and offerings burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not desire nor were you pleased with them though they were offered in accordance with the law then he said, Here I am. I have come to do your will. He sets aside the first to establish the second. And by that will, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Christ Jesus once for all. Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again, he offers the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins he sat down at the right hand of god and since that time he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool for by one sacrifice he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy the holy spirit also testifies to us about this first he says this is a covenant i will make with them after that time says the lord i will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 122 verse 1 to 9, a song of ascents of David. I rejoiced with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing in your gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. That is where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to praise the name of the Lord according to the statute given to Israel. There stand 
the thrones for judgment, the thrones for the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your prosperity. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer in Jesus name. Amen. Congratulations. If you said this prayer, we are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Kindly go ahead right now, send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. That is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. God bless you. Please remember to go ahead right now, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Thank you for being here today. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.